Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some more Prosperous Portugal in Europe Universe House 4. Okay, it's been a day or two. Had a couple days to think about, look around, think about things and stuff and stuff and things. Um, I'm a little confused by this, this whole thing here, I, I don't know, just somewhere along the way I guess I kind of, kind of forgot that territorial cores were sufficient to form colonial nations and I, I don't know, I thought I needed full cores. I don't know, I don't know. Things change. Yeah, didn't need to didn't need to actually finish these and turn them into regular full cores. But um Yeah. So we got free territorial cores. And territorial cores are what you usually end up getting when you take over land from natives. And yeah. Okay, anyways. So we're gonna do that. <clears throat> also, I'm a little confused by this thing. I was reading this and I don't get it. It says Portugal has embraced the Renaissance. Yes, we have done this. Got it. All state province Renaissance is present. Okay. All state provinces, the Renaissance is present. So you go to the states, uh, the states, states map mode, this one, and we can see that all state provinces, the Renaissance is present. So I would assume that means that all provinces that I own that are considered to be a state and not a territory have the Renaissance. This has the Renaissance. Check. Got it. This one has the Renaissance. We got four. Five, six, seven, eight provinces with a renaissance. Right? So that's eight. This one has a renaissance. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Not a state, not mine. Territory doesn't count. Territory doesn't count. Territories doesn't count. This is a state. So are we saying that this colony is it? Is that what's going on? Because, like, I made this into a state, and then... This is part of the state of Pernambuco. Okay. All right. I guess. I guess yes. I guess that makes sense. So having made this into a state is what's making that go away. All right. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was that or if it was like okay. Well, yeah. But there's a state. Like there's provinces that are in your state that you don't know and that aren't you know don't have the Renaissance yet or something. I don't know. I just it, it seems strange to me. So I suppose that. It was just definitely a mistake to have done this, and now we have to wait for this entire thing to finish to get that extra bit of splendor per month. Which seems silly, because the, the faster we get that extra splendor per month, the more of these things we can actually unlock. How are we looking? Are we actually going to be able to use these for a while? Reform Desire is at 43.7%, so the Renaissance should kick off at about 100% Reform Desire, and then 10 years after Protestant is enabled, we lose all of our bonuses. So. And then also, I believe our Splendor gets reset down to zero. So, yeah, the sooner we can get to, to 800 and unlock another one of these, just the more of them we can unlock, the better we will do in this age. Not to mention this is our Golden Era. So I'm thinking that we do want to just probably cancel this state and just, yeah, I wasted some admin points. Oops, I'm sorry. We already have an abundance of them anyway, so... Yeah, it's tough to say. I mean, it is making way more... No longer be faced, forced to pay the 0.37 maintenance, but we'll lose a bunch of income. Nah, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. We'll just not do any more of them. So in the meantime, let's go do our war. We're gonna play in speed three while I get my bearings straight. Ottomans no longer consider Austria to be a rival. Um, how are we doing on relationship slots? We got five out of four right now. It will stay alliance, England royal marriage. There were some suggestions that I should just break the royal marriage, take the uh, the stability hit. Which kind of does make sense, considering that we are at positive three. Um, and he is quite young, and I'm... Well, you know, if it goes ten years, it's 120. I don't know. I don't know. Dipple points at this point, I guess, are technically slightly more valuable to me than the admin. So yeah, we should we should probably do that. So we're heading straight to Benin. Um, this guy's got 10k troops. Probably do want to just knock down his fort. We're going to suffer a lot of attrition down here. It's going to take a little bit of effort to actually knock this thing down, but we've got a two siege pip guy available. How did I accidentally leave Afonso in charge? How, how, did, how does this happen? Hmm? I just know that this one stack is going to get picked off by doing this. Maybe we get lucky in a month from now. That won't happen. Okay, we're going to miss out on some repairs on our way over here. 
We'll get some repairs in this province after we occupy it. Swap in the new general with the two siege ships. Look, we actually made some progress despite the very, very low likelihood. Nice. Okay, grab two siege ship guy who... Oh, shoot, that's right. He was exploring. That's why I probably was using the other guy. Uh, let's see. You are two days away. No, stay here for now. We'll swap you in in a couple days. Arriving on the 21st. That does feel rather risky. I, w I would like to find the seven cities, you know? Alright, I tell you what, you guys are gonna just take a break for a second. I don't wanna risk losing the extra stab. So yeah, we're gonna put this guy over here. And damn status quo happens. I'm going to reconsolidate, we'll take the entire larger army. I hate how you can't do this when there's two leaders. Because, like, there's no real clear easy way to just say, like, I definitely want this leader to stay. Because technically, Alfonso is a two-star versus the one-star, but I want the I want the other guy. I should be able to just say, like, this is the guy I want. Like, I almost feel like there should be a pop-up that, if you consolidate two armies with two leaders, it should just real quick pop up and say, which leader would you like to keep in, in charge of this army? You just say, I want this one. You know, it'd be ideal to me if, if I could have this one. Missed my window to actually repair this fleet this month, but it's okay. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll keep the uh, the full army there. Suffering a lot of attrition, 3%. It's okay. Still over the relationship limit. We'll get one more tick here. And then we're gonna dog up for a month. I'm gonna keep Mason repaired, because we are gonna have some combat. Kill his light ships after the, uh, after the siege is over. Pop back out for the next siege tick. Nice wall breach. Sweet. Good deal. Diplomatic Castile. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see. Order the Assault. We have a morale advantage. We have no infantry combat ability or anything. The leader is a 2-2-3. Uh, I don't... I, I've never really liked this button, but the, the, the potentiality here to, to maybe speed the siege up is kind of interesting to me, just considering how much attrition we might suffer. I would love to see some actual concrete math on it, like... Five military points. Yeah, your army's morale is going to go to crap while you uh, while you do the assault. But like, how many men do you actually lose versus if you were to do the the attrition comparison? I mean, I could just do some quick mental math, right? Ten thousand troops losing thirty per 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 month because three percent of ten thousand is thirty per for that. So that's three hundred men. Let's just say five months. Then that's going to be three hundred times five. That's fifteen hundred troops. So do you think we would lose fifteen hundred troops in an assault? I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, let's take our finisher, Global Empire. And fabricate claims on overseas regions, that's cool. We're working on some claims, this army's gonna need to move soon. Uh, let's see, our next tick is in 10 days. Which is gonna be... Not really particularly good timing. We're not gonna be able to get any more repairs here. On the monthly tick. I think I did miss Win Wonder as well, but it's alright. Our ticks are 27 days long, so... Okay. From the time the arrival. No. No. I care more about the blockade. I also really don't like how it prompts you to make states into territories. If they're going to give you such a harsh penalty for revoking trade company status. Once you've added something to a trade company, at least take away the alert saying that you can make it into a state. I mean, I've, I've merely, I've made my decision. Like, you know what they should do? Just spitballing ideas here. They should, they should put the damn trade company button here and make these things practically mutually exclusive. You either, you're either putting into a trade company and forgetting about it. it. It's, it's about on the same terms, on the same level now as the, the decision to revoke an existing state, you know? Oh, revoking this estate is going to cause major penalties. Yeah, well, revoking it from a trade company causes, like, a five-year malice to production, so, like, yeah, put them on the same level. And then, stop bugging me about making them into states, you know? It just doesn't make sense. There's his army. Is he in another war or something? Like, why does that army feel smaller than it used to be? Huh. Benin is showing he's 7k troops here, more than that here. Oh, Dagbon, that's right, there's the, his, got a little ally up there, I forgot all about that guy. Alright, fair enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's just cruel. Cruel and unusual punishment there. Clemson, Seeds, Tittery, Dahra, 
something else, and something else to tune us. So, our little buddy here, Tlemcen, is uh, looking rather bleak. Ooh, Granada and Separatists are firing in force. Steel's not looking too strong. Steel has a grand total of 22k troops. He's actually murked up a little bit to deal with the rebels. Um, and is Aragon loyal? Is he not willing to help out? He is loyal. But it's not going to send any men over that way. Ooh, and he's getting a 7k stack. Engaging the 1k stack. Those are mercenaries. There goes 25 to 30 ducats. <laughs> Castile, expert economic management. Fantastic. Alright, so we have the ability. We already have uh, enough to get these claims. Let's just get a claim here. And let's get a claim on this fella as well. Looks like this guy migrated. He was in the fog of war, and now he's up here. Oh, let's see, what do we have? Three development province. He is allied to this fella, so we'll be able to just get that land automatically, I think. I don't think we need to be spying on these guys anymore. We should probably spy on our, our rivals, Tunis. We have no adjacency with him. My subject has fabricated some lands, some claims over here for us. I think I've told him to be more aggressive than that. Yeah, I want I've told him I want absolutely everything. Castile currently only wants land in France, so that's a good sign. Uh, you, sir, why are, why are you not fabricating claims on that? It's mothballed and everything, my god. It'd be so easy to take. He has no allies. I suppose, uh... Wow, the game is really kind of chunking a little bit here. You know what it is? I've actually, I think I've narrowed it down. I think it might even be just related to, uh... Chrome. I think Chrome. Chrome bad. There. It's either the tabbing in, tabbing out of things, or just making sure Chrome's not running. Chrome seems to just be like a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of stuff. So, our colonial range is what? How far can we core? It's out of range right now. That means that we can't actually core claim any of this. Yet. But I think we're about to get more colonial range. Possibly soon. We should just get another colony started out in the Caribbean so that we can actually get into Mexico. I think that, that needs to be a thing. Um, I mean, 25 years. I could I could start getting claims on some of these guys. I think it's presumed. It's pretty reasonable to assume that we're going to be able to get get started and actually have coring range within 25 years before the claims expire. So we could get a claim on like. This guy, this guy, and this guy. We want to keep our diplomats tied up. Since we're going to kind of ignore the old world. And back and forth and back and forth is Benin's army. I feel like this is unfair to them, actually. But because they can't take the native policy, I mean, he's just going to go... I mean, look, he's going to do it again. And they've got such high aggressiveness that the likelihood of a rebellion is just so high. That, uh... Yeah. So, he's got six lights. We've got... Four heavies in here. They're pretty damaged, but I think we'll be able to blow up most of his army. Let's just stay here. Is there more loot to be had? Yes. Yep, see there he is again. Just whittling down his own army. In fact, the, the natives are now larger than his. Which just doesn't seem fair. He should, hopefully, instead of going back to Calabar, retreat to Wari. He might even... Is he gonna win? He did. Let's wait till he's locked, and then we'll go engage him. Sad times for Benin. Now, there are light ships in that fleet, right? And we do care about trade, so let's wait until we can see Shan at least Wari kill the rest of his fleet. And, uh... I think we're gonna go back to Afonso, and let's go back over to our other troops as well. Who, for the moment, can explore. We're going to send them back over this way again soon, so that we can actually conquest that area. Probably going to end up taking the majority of our troops over to there as well. Okay, what is our mission right now? Alright, we need to get down into that southern tip of South Africa. Golden Horde sees land of Muscovy. As per normal, Muscovy's growing. They are a grower. And a shower. If I'm not mistaken, I lost my ex yeah, I lost my actual naval-based explorer. 
Alright, there goes all of his light ships. That'll make our ships better. Our, prote our trade protection better. Dagbon's got high enthusiasm. I don't really think I want to go try to knock him out. Unless, is it a level 1 fort? It is. We could get up there. This is an opportunity to explore some of this interior territory. I guess we could take a little bit more time. It's not like having the province a few months early is going to really make a huge difference. Unless we have high war exhaustion. 0.4. It's not too great. And of course, we are suffering a fair, fairly large amount of attrition to do this exploration. Let's get some re revealed territory out, though. Okay, he tried to train up another troop. I do want to get at least one more claim on... Let's see. Nine, seven. I wonder if I could actually use Threaten War on one of these guys. That would be a beautiful, beautiful steal. Uh, let's get a claim on Belize. And on you, I think we're going to go for like a claim on one of these. Ooh, if I could steal that level two fort. This is not your capital. If he could just give me that. He's got only three provinces. So the likelihood seems pretty low. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe it could work. And then Dagmon's actual forces were 3k infantry. Let's wait until we get a couple more sieges complete. And then we'll move in with a little bit more force. It's a shame we took a little bit of damage there. Tercio de Wari. The Platinet seized land. Alright, so he actually did have a fort of his own. Wow. Alright, that's going to prevent me from exploring anymore. We've gained the Forced Migration CB. Alright. Interesting. So, he might... This guy... Wait, what? This guy left, so the claim that I got on him is now useless. Well, not useless. You know, it is. It is useless. I can attack. I got a claim on an empty province. But I gained a claim on who... A Forced CB claim on... Tupiniquim. Why did I just suddenly gain it? One hundred percent aggressive expansion, prestige, and cost for nothing. So we get no no prestige discounts or no no diplo discounts whatsoever. I don't understand that CB. Fair enough. Whatever. I don't know why it just triggered now. I don't think it really matters since we can't explore past that fort. I doubt. I think we just call it good in this war. Yeah, there's nothing else that we can actually reveal. So, what do I want in this war? I want the thing that I had a claim on, because it's going to give me... Well, we already have the merchant from the trade for the trade company, but... Uh... I wonder if there's a... There's no subject that I could release, right? I could release Oyo. Oyo seems to have a fair number of cores. Yeah, Oyo's got a lot of cores. The problem is that I'm already at 5 out of 4 relations. I think we, um, despite the fact that we're a little bit behind on Diplotech, I think we take some more coastal territory. Take a look at states. Wouldn't mind just, like, taking everything in this state. So that he doesn't rebuild any coastal stuff. And then taking one province with the Oyo core. So that we can maybe reveal, revoke or like release Oyo at some point. We could take if. It's just a three development province. Sit on a tiny, tiny bit of overextension. Do we take this one as well? Yeah, I think so. That sounds fine. Get a little bit of prestige out of it. Cancels alliance and his rivalry if, we'll, if, if, if he'll agree to it. One prestige for ten war score? It's not very good. I almost feel like, as well, 
Has anyone ever used this in forced fleet basing rights? Like, it you end up still having to pay them. Shouldn't enforced fleet, fleet basing give you free fleet basing for 10 years? Hmm. I don't know. Well, I don't really care too much about the prestige that much. I mean, we're at 90, so we'll just take that peace deal. These fellas are going to come down to Benin. We're going to keep that fort on since we're down here. And since we're only planning on doing trade companies in this region anyway, um, this this whole state is, what, 24 development? It's, it's a very weak state in the first place, so... Yeah. I think that we're just going to core here. Here, here, and here. Can't core interior territory on that one. Can't core this one either, but that's going to become Oyo at some point. And I guess, if I wanted to, I could avoid coring some other land just by giving Oyo some land outside of that state. Of course, here I am taking land based on whether or not it's in a state or not, and then deciding after the fact that I'm not actually going to state it, so... <clears throat> does that make any sense? No, not really. It really doesn't. But yeah, I think everything in this area is going to just get assigned to that state. No tax income. Devastated the crap out of it. At least it's all within that range of that fort. That's also, I mean, I want to say, I, I would love to say that that was part of my intent. It actually was just kind of a coincidence. But it is convenient that the devastation in this province, this region that I just caused, will go away very quickly because I took that fort. Uh, where's the darn map mode? Is it economic, probably? Economic devastation. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty devastated, basically. Yep, mm-hmm. But, because we have that fort, it's just like, within a month or two, all of it'll go away. Except for Benin. Benin will take a little bit longer. Alright, let's get these guys over to here. Do we need the, the heavies? The guys in South America probably don't actually have any, like, real combat ships. Let's just mothball these heavies, um, in Benin. For now, and especially because of the fort, I think I can get away with not having the, uh, any troops down here at all. And we're going to take this army over and go and attack the, the New World. See if we can get that colonial nation up and running. So we got 11 transports, 10 troops. Uh, we can probably hop across at least to the Gold Coast within the next month. Yep. Over there. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. Next episode, I'm leaning toward a war deck over here. Finishing our colonial nation would be great. Uh, working toward our mission in Africa would be nice as well. Keep an eye on Castile, see what's going on with these rebels. He seems to have... I don't know, I mean, he's hes having some issues. It seems like he's hes not really doing a great job here. Still got three mercs like Low Manpower, Aragon not doing much for him. Despite his ridiculous strength, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next episode. See you soon.